Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will be able to describe and identify the dependent variable, independent variable, constants, and control group in scientific investigations. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I can describe and identify the dependent variable, independent variable, constants, and control group in scientific investigation. In our last video, we went over the steps of the scientific method, which includes step one, making observations, step two, identify a question, step three, construct a hypothesis, step four, make a prediction, step five, test the predictions, and step six, analyze, draw conclusions, and communicate your results. In today's video, we will discuss key vocabulary involved in the scientific method and identify them in different scientific method scenarios. Let's begin with dependent and independent variables. Many people tend to struggle with identifying the differences between dependent and independent variables, so let's see if we can make this as simple as possible. A dependent variable is a variable whose value changes based on changes in the independent variable. An independent variable is a variable in an experiment that is changed or manipulated. Another way to look at it is that the independent variable is the cause, the dependent variable is the effect. In a typical family, the independent variables will be the parents and the dependent variables will be the kids. Changes in the parents' lives more often than not causes changes in the kids' lives as well. Let's use the following example. A study was done to find if different tire treads affect the braking distance of a car. What is being changed in this experiment? One key word should stand out, different. So this means that the type of tire tread will be changed in this experiment. This would be the independent variable or cause in this experiment. Our next question is, what is being affected in this experiment as a result of using different tire treads? The key word is affected. So it will be the braking distance of the car. Let's review. There will be different tire treads used throughout the experiment, which will make them the independent variable or cause. Since the tire treads are being changed, this will possibly have an effect on the braking distance or how far the car will travel before it fully stops when the brakes are pressed. This part will be the dependent variable or effect because it is dependent on a change in the independent variable. Quick checks for understanding. Read the following problems and identify the dependent and independent variable in each problem. Pause the video. You have three minutes to complete and share out with your classmates. You got this. Now let's add another key term to the mix, the constant or control. A constant or control is the factor or factors in an experiment that do not change. For example, in an experiment, to test the effect of different lights on plant growth, other factors that affect plant growth and health, such as soil quality and watering, will need to remain constant. Let's break this experiment down even further by using the terms independent and dependent variables and the constant also known as the control. What is being changed throughout the experiment? You guessed it. The different types of light being used is changed which could be sunlight, a desk lamp, or a little to no lighting. This will be our independent variable. The dependent variable is the variable being affected as a result of changes in the independent variable, which in this scenario is how much the plant grows because it is being directly affected by the type of light being used. We stated earlier that the constant or control is the soil quality and watering of the plant which remains the same throughout the experiment. Quick check for understanding. Read the following scenario and determine what is the dependent variable, what is the independent variable, and what is the constant or control. Pause the video you have two minutes to complete. You got this. Now let's add another term into the mix, the control group. The control group in an experiment is the group that receives either no treatment, a standard treatment whose effect is already known, or a placebo which is basically a fake treatment. For instance, in a pharmaceutical study to determine the effectiveness of a new drug on the treatment of migraines, the experimental group would be administered the new drug and the control group would be administered a placebo, a drug that is inert or assumed to have no effect. Let's look at the following scenario and identify the independent variable, dependent variable, control group, 
and constants. Two groups of students were tested to compare their speed working math problems. Each group was given the same problems. One group used calculators and the other group computed without calculators. Question, what was the independent variable that could affect how fast the students worked the math problems? You're absolutely correct, it's the calculator. The dependent variable would be how fast the students are able to work the math problems. The constant or factor that remained the same is that the students were given the same math problems. So now that brings us to the control group. Remember, this group is a group that did not receive anything special in this study. So our control group would be the group that did not receive a calculator. There can be several control variables in an experiment. If an experiment is to be useful, only one variable at a time can be manipulated or changed intentionally. All other variables must be controlled throughout all parts of the experiment. If more than one variable is altered or changed, the results of an experiment cannot be interpreted with any validity or real concrete or consistent evidence. Let's use the following example as a quick check for understanding. An experiment was performed to determine how the amount of coffee grounds could affect the taste of coffee. The same amount and type of water, the same perking time, and the same electrical sources were used. What is our independent variable? What is our dependent variable? What are our constants in this lab scenario? Pause the video, you have 5 minutes to complete. You got this. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with identifying the dependent variable, independent variable, constant, and control in a scientific experiment. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day.